Hello, beautiful souls. I was just going to do a short recording here of um, Herb Fitch uh, in his Revelation of St. John series. Um, this is just a, calls it the five minute vacation. And he's speaking about uh, the quote from Jesus telling his disciples to launch out into the deep. He says, give yourself a vacation from your human mind for just five minutes. Everything your human mind has been reluctant to do, let us do. Let us see that the human mind has anchored us to the belief that we walk on a physical earth. We do not. And so we are going to discard that concept for a moment. I do not walk on a physical earth. I do not live in a physical form. I am not confined to the world concept of time and space. I am free. I am that self which is limitless that lives only in the infinite universe as the infinite expressing. I am not mortal. I am not physical. I am spirit itself. At this moment, I am being what I am. I am launching out into the deep, into the infinite. I am accepting identity as infinite being. Not just spirit, but I am accepting that what spirit is. I am, and therefore I am infinite spirit. And now I am resting in my infinite spiritual self as pure consciousness. I have nothing to do with physic a physical universe. That is your meditation. That is your vacation from the human mind. That is your momentary breaking of the hypnosis and awakening from the sleep. Just to be yourself for a moment or two and to find from it the strange and glorious quickening of the Spirit, for you are multiplying the Father within yourself. As long as you think of a room, person, place, you have not launched out into the deep. But if you can glimpse the infinity of being without physical walls, without any con confining space or time. You are free for that moment of use universal mind. You are free for that moment of universal mind. You have broken through. You are walking in the kingdom of heaven on earth, and your reward is great and quick. This too is being watchful. I am attuned only to the infinite self. It is I. It is expressing as I. I is everywhere. It is the only being. It is the only power. It is the only law. It is the only activity. It is the only one and it is I. Sonship is an infinite sonship. No human mind can govern infinite sonship. The precious stone of oneness is attained as we let the human mind drift by like a cloud and rest in the pure infinity of being, seeking nothing, asking for nothing, knocking on nothing. For all we have ever really sought was truth. All we have ever asked for was truth. All we have ever knocked for was truth. 
and truth is. That I am. That infinite self now. The accepting is all the asking and seeking and knocking that was ever necessary. Infinite self can never be divided from itself, can never be separated from itself, can never become less than the one infinite self. And so you have a very dynamic principle that there is never more than one anywhere no matter what the eye may see. All there can ever be is one. And that one, Christ in the midst of you, is I and my Father are one. There is no two in the spiritual universe. There are not two trees. There are not two people. There are not two lives. There are not two powers. There are not two laws. There are not two activities. There is one infinite activity, one infinite law, the infinite life, and we are all joint heirs in that one infinite self. We can depend on that one infinite self to be itself without vacation. Irrevocably, one infinite self will always be here functioning, maintaining its perfection throughout its infinite self. World thought will steal through that mind which is not attuned to this truth and establish many where there is but one. Establish darkness where there is but light. Establish all forms of lacks and limitations where the fullness of the Father alone is being itself. And if we rely on our individual human mind, it will inevitably be tempted and will respond to the belief that evil is, that problems are, that lacks and limitations, and all forms of confusion must be attended to, responded to, acted upon, reacted to. But there is a place in us where we awaken to another level of ourselves, where this mind cannot reach. This high ground where the mortal mind of the world finds there is no place for it. Awaken to Christ, I am. Spirit, I am. Infinite, I am. I know no place where my Father is not. And here I remain in truth, watching conscious of the infinite perfection of God, in whom there can be no darkness whatsoever. I am not tempted. I am not fooled. I am not lulled back into the deep, the sleep of mortality. This is called strengthening. According to this verse, strengthen that which ye have, Strengthen that which remains. And we are told there is still more of us to die. And this is good news because that which is to die is the unreality of our being. Dying to the false sense of mortality. Dying to the false images of the sense mind. Dying to the false concepts. Dying to the belief that I can die. Dying to mortality or materiality. Dying to the world that was not created by my Father. Awakening to the kingdom on earth. Oh, 
you enjoy and many blessings and we'll talk to you on the next one have a blessed happy new year